Hi, I'm David McMeekin, and I'm going to talk to you today about something that's one of my favorite things, but also it's one of the dilemmas I'm in with one of my favorite things to do of all time. So, what is it? I love reading. And what I really love is I love and always have loved reading, you know, paperbacks, books that are real, not electronic books. But times have changed and things have changed and it's often I want a book and I want it now. So I started to buy the ebooks of things and I started out with the Kindle and was loving it. So often I'd buy the Kindle book so that I had the book immediately and I could start reading it and then what I'd do is I'd go and order the paperback or hardcover either or it doesn't bother me so you'll find in my book collection that I've often got two copies of a book the Kindle book as well as the paperback book and this leads me to my next dilemma to my Kindle Oasis Crisis. Kindle Oasis Crisis, yes. I was listening to one of my um, favorite YouTubers. Maybe his name was Ali Abdal. Won't say it too loudly. And he was talking about his Kindle and he was reading from a Kindle Oasis. And I thought, that looks pretty cool. I saw one in a shop and went, screen's phenomenal. Let's go and buy one. So I did. I went and bought myself a Kindle Oasis. And I gotta say, I have absolutely loved it. I have been reading so much on my Kindle Oasis. But David, you said you liked books and you liked the paperback book. And that's correct. I did say that and I do love them. But something changed. I did a course by Tiago Forte, Building a Second Brain. And through that course, there was a lot of talk about the different ways you have flow and your workflows to get the knowledge that and the information that you're learning in and how do you go about, you read it, you absorb it, and then store it and be able to access it. And what became really clear to me was that reading and really reading on electronic devices was the way to go. And the Oasis has done that. So now when I read, I read and I highlight. And I'm highlighting the things that stick out to me, the things that really in one sense inspire me, or the things I've gone, wow, that's a bit unusual. Also things that challenge me. I go, I might disagree with that, or I might go, oh, that's interesting. So I highlight them, and then what I'm able to do is suck all of those highlights out through a service called Readwise and that connects into my Kindle account and it pulls all of my highlights out and that's fantastic and I'm loving it. Recently I was watching a YouTuber and she was talking about reading and when she's using a ebook or something like that and highlights which is really cool I do that a lot but when she highlights she makes a note immediately about why she highlighted it, what was important, what stuck out that caused her to want to highlight something. And I thought, that's a pretty good idea. And then I was reading another book, another book, because I read lots of books, Zettelkast, digital Zettelkast, and then how to go about doing it. And in that, the author, whose name I can't remember, but will probably come up on screen, he said he does a similar thing because by reading the note, it brings you back into the moment when you were reading it, what was so important, and it recreates that moment so that you understand once again why that was so important to you. So what I've done is I've followed that philosophy of my one of my favorite YouTubers and that author. And now when I'm highlighting in my eBooks, I make a note and I make a note on the Kindle going, why am I reading it or what's important about it and things like that. And it's pretty cool. It's a little bit clunky is the Kindle for doing that. It's not really set up for that kind of input, but it works. Then recently I was looking at the iPads and the iPad minis and I was particularly looking at, and you can hear that clanging because I'm lifting it off my desk, the purple iPad mini. And I thought, how cool is that? So as you do, 
or sometimes I do with tech, I went out and bought one. And as you've already seen, I've got it. And it's cool. I thought I'd use it for bits and pieces. Recently, I was reading a book, a paperback book, and I was loving it. And while I was enjoying it so much, I was taking notes with my camera and photographing it and uploading my notes into Readwise. Really good. And then I thought, David, why are you spending so much time doing that? Why not go and buy the Kindle version of it? And once you've bought the Kindle version, I can take my notes in the app and just upload it straight into Readwise. So I did what anyone did, jumped onto the Amazon bookshop and I looked at the Kindle store and went, great, there, oh, that's pretty expensive. Then I went, I wonder if Apple Books has it. So jumped into Apple Books and there it was for a great price of about 10 bucks. That's about what eBooks cost here, some more, some less, but that's a good price. So I bought it in Apple Books and started reading it and came across when I was writing notes and highlighting a really cool feature. And that feature was the ability to write notes and use the scribble tool, take my Apple Pencil and scribble a note with the highlighting. And in the magic that is technology, it's not really magic, it's lots of other things, but anyway, in that fantastic thing, it was just taking my handwritten notes, really no matter how badly I hand wrote, and converting them into type text. And there they were in my Apple Books. I could sync that with Readwise, and then it all gets sucked into Obsidian and my, really my um, second brain set up. And I'm going, cool. But that brought me to my dilemma. And my dilemma is this. Which one do I use to read now? Because this is really cool. There's no real backlighting. It's crystal, it's clear, it's nice. It's got a great feel to it as I'm holding it and reading it. This has the backlighting and yeah, I can make lots of changes to it, but I can highlight, take a note, and I can scribble with the Apple Pencil. And that is really cool. I sync them all into Readwise. So now I'm stuck. I have the dilemma. What do I use? And I think of the pros for this and the cons for this, the pros for this and the cons for this, and in the midst of it all, I've come to my final decision that I thought you really want to know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm going to tell you anyway. I have no idea. So that's the confusion I'm in. That's the confusion I'm going to leave you with. But one of the things, as I said way back at the beginning, I love reading and I've evolved, I'd like to say, from the paperback to, oops, let's go the right order, the Kindle, the Kindle Oasis, the iPad mini, and which way to go? I have no idea. Maybe you can help me out. Anyways, that's it. I'm David McMeekin, Kendani Ebuck.